various national parks all around the country that's like, oh yes, I know him, and he's going to be a great speaker, and we're certainly going to enjoy his program today. So at this point, Stephen Brown. So I brought this wood-splitting ball uh, in case Rob needs to whack me off stage. Um, <laughs> Because I, I love Abraham Lincoln. I think he's about the most fascinating fellow around. And I can talk about him all day. As a matter of fact, I've been known to talk about him all day. So <laughs> just in case, you know, we'll keep this handy. But yeah, um, um, a lot of people know of Abraham Lincoln as the great emancipator. Uh, and I would like to put forward a suggestion to also know him as the great educator. And I think his formative years spent growing up here in Kentucky influenced him in such a way that he became not only the great emancipator, but the great educator. Many of the events during the Civil War overshadowed what he accomplished during his presidency. And uh, as a historian and somebody who's just naturally curious, I like the story behind the story. I like the, the dirt, the gossip. Um, and uh, I'd like to get started just to sort of highlight the importance of Abraham Lincoln growing up in this area. Raise your hand if you can read. That's right. You see, when Abraham Lincoln was growing up here in Hodgenville and, and just north here in Knox Creek, in a town about the size of the people gathered here, which was a, a, considered a large town, a large town at that time, maybe one person could read and write. It was exceptionally rare growing up on the frontier in Kentucky that you could read and write. Raise your hand if you own one book. All right, well, if you didn't raise your hand, may I suggest... 